Last week you saw me driving this thing over here. This is a 1 liter TSI manual Polo. And in our opinion, it's one of the best ways to get a fun to drive daily driver which gives you a lot of value for your money in under 10 lakh rupees. But what if this doesn't cut it for you? And what if you just want to have a little bit of spice in your life? My solution to that problem is this over here. This is also a 1 liter TSI manual polo, but this thing has been tuned to stage 2. And if you don't want to go through the hassle of buying a stock car and tuning it and doing all of the work, well, this thing is on sale at TDH Classifieds, so you should definitely check it out. So we're all familiar with the 1 liter TSI engine. 999 cc's of displacement makes 110 horsepower and 175 newton meters of torque and it makes it from a 1 liter turbocharged 3 cylinder engine. It's a pretty peppy motor out of the box but if you're an enthusiast this is not going to cut it for you. So if you want something that's a little bit more spicier this thing over here definitely checks all of the boxes. This also is a 1 liter TSI but as you can see it's been modded out and kitted out pretty thoroughly. It has a Piper Cross custom air intake system with metal piping done by Automec. It has a performance downpipe by Automec, a forged blow-off valve as well and a stage 2 tune from Autodesert Performance. Combine all of what I've just said together and this thing makes 140 horsepower and 250 Nm of torque and the best part is, is that it has no automatic transmission. It has a proper 6-speed manual transmission. Since this is an episode of stock versus tune, let me explain some of the other options that you have for the 1 liter TSI. Now stock, the car runs great. With a stage 1, it runs even better. But stage 2 has to be the sweet spot for the 1 liter TSI. Now there are options to go for a stage 3 map with a bigger turbo and a lot of other stuff. But the price to power ratio does not really make sense. Turbochargers for this car uh, go upwards of 2 lakh rupees. For example, the RTMG turbo that the 1 litre TSI gets, uh, yeah, that costs, I think, so 2.5 lakh rupees. Plus, this thing does not have an air-to-air -air cooling system. It has an air-to-water cooling system and that means that the heat management of the car is not the best, especially if you're going to go stage 3. Now, people have done air-to-air -air, uh, cooling system upgrades or retrofits or custom jobs of that sort. We've covered a stage 3 car, I think so, a couple of months back in Delhi, Kashif Nazim's car and that car ran beautifully but the cost that you have to pay for doing all of that stuff, yeah, I don't think it's really justified. So, if you're going to tune up your 1 liter TSI, stage 2 is definitely the sweet spot. Now since both of these cars are 2020 onwards, they get the Type 3 bumper kit. In fact, the Type 3 bumper kit did come in 2019 as well for a couple of 1.2 TSIs which were at the end of their lot. But yeah, the Type 3 bumper kit was standard from 2020 onwards. Both of these cars are 2021 and I really like the look of the Type 3 bumper kit. It basically is a GTI bumper kit all around and it looks absolutely fantastic. Now this car is bone stock. so. It looks pretty normal, it looks like a normal car, but this, as you can see, has stickers going all around. It has these twin exit exhaust tips at the back, which makes it look 
yeah it looks very purposeful in that sense now this particular car is running some lowering springs as well dr nano lowering springs and it gives that car that hunkered down sporty look which i really enjoy now usually i'm not a fan of liveries but this livery actually does some sort of justice to the car it is the wrc livery that came on this very rare car if you know it's called the polo r so that car basically had the same livery and it had a 2 liter tsi engine as well if i'm not wrong so yeah i think so the livery really does do justice to you know how this car is made and yeah i think so it's a fantastic looking car and as you guys already know the customization aftermarket options for these cars are endless so if you want to go even wilder that option is also available now if you're looking to buy a vw polo look no further than tdh classifies this is part of our TDH verified section. So it means that the car has been meticulously inspected by us and is one of the cleanest examples that you can get in the market. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to the drivershub.com slash TDH classifieds and get yourself the car of your dreams. If you've ever driven a stock 1 liter TSI manual, you will immediately understand that the experience is a little subdued. Yes, it is a heap of fun to drive, but you just have that itch of wanting something more. And if you tune the car to stage 2 and do all of the proper mods like this particular car has, yep, the experience gets elevated to a completely different level. This is the first 1 liter TSI manual that I've actually driven and I've enjoyed the noise of it. stage to tune the exhaust system and everything just comes all together and sounds fantastic it's not overly loud it's not obnoxious with pops and bangs and crackles the auto disc stage 2 map is really nice and yeah overall it feels like a proper little sports hatch now in terms of suspension this car has stock dampers with Dr. Nano lowering springs. Now, the stiffness hasn't really gone up, but the stance of the car looks really nice. And just because you're lower to the ground, you just feel a little bit more confident in putting the car through corners. Uh, but the suspension setup, I have to say, is very good for daily usage as well. It's still very compliant. It has good amounts of suspension travel, which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time because you're more likely to scrape with such a soft setup. But I mean, if you want to live the low life, there has to be some sort of compromise. But the best part is this 140-ish horsepower and this six-speed manual that you can control with your left leg and your left hand. That has to be the best part. And in my opinion, a stage to one liter TSI manual is the ultimate polo to buy in India and to own if you're an enthusiast because the GTI they ask for ridiculous prices. The six-speed torque converter is just too slow. And the DSG cars have too many failures. And they're pretty old, don't make a lot of power. This is the sweet spot if you're looking for a turbo petrol polo. sounds so good and you can downshift upshift whenever you want and that's the best part and it absolutely shifts once you're in the boost of the turbo the throttle response has definitely gotten much better the brakes are now EBC uh, brake pads which are a little bit of an upgrade and yeah, the brakes give a little bit of additional braking performance. Uh, the throttle pedal is really nice and 
you can heel and toe blip the throttle and that's what exactly a little hatch like this is supposed to be fun and engaging to drive i've driven a lot of sports cars over the years but i have to say there is a really nice charm about a good old little hatchback with a manual transmission and a decently loud exhaust and this polo fits all of that all of the boxes have been ticked it has a good exhaust good amounts of power a manual gearbox and it's fairly new with most of the creature comforts that you want like android auto apple carplay a decent ac and i mean we all already know about the amazing aftermarket customizations that these polos have you can change the bumpers you can change the cluster yeah the customization possibilities with this car are endless i don't think we have to reiterate that any more but this is the sweet spot and if i had some money lying around i would definitely personally choose this particular car as my daily driver just because it's been done up so nicely if you're an enthusiast and you're looking to buy a good daily driver well i don't think it gets much better than a stage 2 polo tsi manual now yes the stock car is really nice and if you're someone who likes your stock stuff yeah i don't think it gets much better than a stock polo tsi manual but If you want that added spice, if you want a car that can fit into small spaces and can fit into small tight parking and give you those amazing driving feels while you're on a canyon road or you just want to have that fun commute to work, Stage 2 Polo TSI manual is the best option, especially since the fact that this thing can come under 10 lakh rupees. This particular car has been listed on TDH classifieds for 9 lakh rupees first owner and has only been driven 45000 kilometers and we have complete service records of this car. So if you're interested in either one of these cars do contact us on the number given on the screen and get yourself the car of your dreams this Diwali. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. I hope you really like it. Subscribe to the Drivers Hub on YouTube. Thank you for 100000 subscribers. Follow us on Instagram. Follow TDH classifieds on Instagram and we'll catch you in the next one.